Japan. This is Yokohama, and that is the Diamond Princess, the cruise ship that has been right at the center of our coverage for so many days now, the site which has seen the world's biggest coronavirus outbreak outside mainland China. That's where the highest concentration has been. But today, about 500 passengers finally were allowed off the ship. They finished their 14 days in quarantine and they have tested negative for COVID-19. Their departure coming at the very same time, officials announce dozens of new cases aboard the ship. So there's lots to tell you about what's going on with the Diamond Princess, the passengers, and particularly the Canadian passengers on board. And let's go to our Asia correspondent, Sasha Petrasek, who is right there in Yokohama, right there in front of the Diamond Princess. And Sasha, let's pick up in more detail about those key developments today. Well, Heather, uh, this is what many people have been waiting for, of course, the end of the quarantine, the end of the time when all of these people had to stay in their cabins. Today, those same people um, who had to be kept away from the rest of society because, in fact, they could be carrying the virus were let out. They got into cabs, they got onto buses, they walked away and uh, into Yokohama. As far as the Japanese government is concerned, they are perfectly fine, they are safe, they are not a threat or a danger from a health perspective to anybody. Uh, there are people who don't uh, agree with that or aren't so sure and there are also experts who are not so sure that this was all such a great idea because as you say every day we've been seeing dozens of new cases people who have been infected on the ship clearly the virus has been spreading there and uh, spreading very very quickly the numbers went up and up and up and uh, much more so than anywhere else in the world outside mainland china so uh, it has been a controversial experiment in some people's eyes but uh, but one which is drawing to a close right now lots of people still on that ship behind me some more will be released uh, uh, tomorrow and then again the next day to walk away those are mostly uh, Japanese citizens but uh, there are also people from other places in the world who are waiting for airlifts out including of course some 200 Canadians. Now, we had a great story from you yesterday, uh, Sasha. Speaking of Canadians, you introduced us to a couple, uh, Greg and Rose Yarricks. We have a picture of them. Let's bring them up. And we were listening to your reporting as you spoke to them. And at the time, yesterday, when you told us about them, one had the virus, one did not. Well, an update this morning, Sasha. Their situation has changed today. Well, it's not clear that their situation has changed, but they weren't being given some very key information yesterday from the uh, Japanese health officials who came knocking on their door in their hazmat suits and uh, with their visors and their clipboards. Uh, it turns out when they came to the door and they told Greg that he was positive, that uh, he had the virus, he was carrying it, and he would have to go to hospital and stay here. And Rose was going to have to go to Canada on the plane and leave him behind because she was negative and couldn't go into the hospital. Well, as it turns out, they were wrong. Uh, the clipboard actually said that she was positive as well. The both of them were, and, uh, and that in fact they are both staying here in Japan and will be very shortly transported to the same hospital. Now, um, you know, the reaction to that might not be uh, what you would expect uh, from two people who've just been told that they have a very, very serious virus. Um, this is what they had to say to me today through Skype. At least we're together. <laughs> yeah, I'm not alone now, but it's not the way I wanted it to be. Actually, I'm just glad that, um, you know, we'll be together. We'll jump through the hoops together and we'll keep each other strong. So there you go. Uh, as you can see, they are actually quite happy about the situation right now. Not, of course, of the health implications, but the fact that they are both going to be staying in the same hospital in Japan. Who knows how long they will have to stay before they are cleared as well. Uh, you know, neither of them have any symptoms. Neither of them knew that they had the virus uh, until they were told that the test came back. Um, positive so uh, they hope that this is going to be a short stay before they can also go back to Canada but when that'll be is not clear at all Heather 
Well, we'll talk about getting back to Canada in just a second, but Sasha, thank you very much. Sasha Petrasic right in front of the Diamond Princess there in Yokohama, Japan.